Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. How you doing there, Stan, huh? Okay. We have a very special guest tonight, actress, co- slash, comedian, slash, YouTuber, slash, what else? Good person. Good person, <laughs> slash, what else? A cat, cat lover. Cat lover, slash. Oh, that's it. I don't have a long resume. You got one more, or I, I can't continue. Think, think. Fuck. Um, I'm Filipino. Filipino. Better than... Well, we get another one on top of that. Slash. Um, I used to hula dance. Ex-hula dancer. Slash. You said one more. Two more, two more. Oh, my God. I, I, Newly I, married? Come on. I'm not defined by my husband. Okay. I'm a sister. Steve, I'm on your side. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. I have a brother, so I'm a sister. She has a brother. Yeah, I just want everyone to know that. Slash. Do we say good person already? Yeah, we did. Okay. Also, bad person. No, you're not bad. Sometimes. Welcome, <laughs> Nikki Limo. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Uh, you, you comfortable? Everything good? I am, you haven't yeah. cracked open your uh, seltzer water? Yeah, well, I didn't want to ruin my nails. Okay, do you want me to open it for yeah, you? Yeah, could okay. you? Thank you. Just off top, because I'm trying to get wow, him. I'm trying to get, him, trying to get him uncomfortable. Do you have any? Do you have any girlfriends that could date? Will date George? <sighs> no, I have. So I, I have some girlfriends. I saw that, him in your video, wedding video. Yeah, I have some girlfriends. Uh, well, date George, though. Man, no, I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm going to ask you again. Do you have any friends that will date my man George here? Friends, yes. You do? Girlfriends. No. Do I got you, a, okay, let me, I, I'm going to ask you again. Few, Are there any humans that you know yes. that will possibly date my man George? Okay, humans, no. <laughs> Friends, yes. Friends. <laughs> okay, please do it. Okay. Because two. Th- oh, wait, hold up. 2018 is going to be George's year. 2018 is your year, George. Right. I believe I it. Want, why is it his face turns red? I, I love know, it. That's I love why it too. I do this because his face it turns red. It matches his hair, his beard. <laughs> it's just all one color. It's like a mono, yeah. <laughs> a mono face. He's he's a handsome guy. I know. Yeah. You're a handsome guy, George. Your husband's. Do handsome. you believe that? Your husband's handsome too, by the way. Hey, he's taken. Shout out to Steve. We don't. We want Steve on here too. Don't make it about him. Okay, it's about you. It's about me. So how are you feeling? I feel good. Okay. I feel great. I I I know you've been asked like the YouTube questions, so I'll I won't even ask you any of those questions right now. I, I want to know are your YouTube questions because um you have a big YouTube channel and. A so there's questions one. about no, it? No, no, I just have general questions. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, how, what, what outside interests other than like doing skits and acting do, do you enjoy doing? Uh, that's, I like cats. Okay, you like, when do uh, you, you always like cats as a kid? Yeah. Really? Do yeah. You, do you have, let's do you have a cat oh, memory? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about some cat stories. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Your first. Cat. Oh yeah. Okay, so when did <laughs> your fascination you. start with cats? Okay, so pro- when I was like four. Mm-hmm. Okay, so my grandma had three cats. She would rescue like strays that came in, mm-hmm. and I always thought I was a dog person, mm-hmm. but I never could have a dog. Like my mom would never get me a dog. We mm-hmm. didn't have the room. We didn't have space for it. Mm-hmm. I understand now as an adult, we did not. It was true. Mm-hmm. Thought my parents just didn't love me, but it's cool. Um, so my grandma had these cats, and and I just it was the first animal that I bonded with. And then I got my own cat. Mm-hmm. A lot of people hate cats. Do you hate cats? I'm You're aller- making a face. I, no, no, no. I love them, but I'm allergic to them. Ah, shit. so when I go to my brother and Kalila's 
place, my brother's girlfriend. And yeah. Him, they have three cats. Yeah. I, I need a, a leg. I need a, 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 a what pill. It's, yeah, a pill. Pills? Yeah, like an allergy Dang. pill. So are you allergic to me right now? Can you smell it on me? No, no, no. Your you're dog fine. Can smell it on me. Yeah, my dog. So shout out to Kirby. He just had an operation. We uh, cut his nuts off. So it's okay, buddy. Yeah, it's okay. I don't have Life nuts goes either. on, huh? It's, it's so actually you, better without nuts. You think so? I like it better without nuts on me. What, what's your cat's name? Right My cat's name. Well, I have two cats. One's mm-hmm. Franklin mm-hmm. and one's Joe. Where'd you get them? Oh, you're asking a lot of questions I know. Here. This is the, we have a lot of time. All so. right. So <laughs> I got Franklin at Kitten Rescue. You rescued it? Yeah. Well, I did. Good for you. Good for you. Steve thank did? Thank you. No. Well, okay. Kitten Rescue, the organization oh, okay, did. Okay. But then and you- then I rescued it from the rescue. There you go. So. Mm-hmm. Hero. Um, and then second cat? The second cat was not supposed to happen. Mm-hmm. So I had the, a studio probably about this size. Mm-hmm. And that's not enough space for two cats. Oh, hell no. No. Plus, my cat, I had already had him for like five, four years. And mm-hmm. he was super possessive of me. Like, won't let me out of his sight. Like, really? Always has to be on me. Like, people are like, oh, cats don't love you. My cat can't stop loving me. Uh-huh. Like, he's like a dog like he just oh. he runs when i come home he runs out from wherever he is and like jumps on my shoulders oh wow he's really the best so it's a unique cat because usually cats kind of do their own shit yeah like- well th- see that's what i like about cats is that they do their own shit like they're not needy i mean he's he likes love and stuff and he comes to you but it's more like dogs are like children to mm-hmm. me where you like have to like be there for them and provide and like be there like give them attention oh, constantly yeah. especially with this guy right yeah a he's cat? smelling your purse I don't know why I'm it's sorry it's cause cats are all over it oh. tons of cats yeah now do you think you could communicate with cats te- uh, uh, like telepathically I think I could do that with my own cat you I see but not other people's cats you what well, Oh, why? Because you have to learn their personalities. Yeah, so this yeah. is what I'm saying is that mm-hmm. cats, I feel like, are more like a significant other. Mm-hmm. So like they could do their own thing and be capable and independent, but mm-hmm. then they also love you at the end of the night. Like they'll sleep with you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So he, he sleeps in my bed every night. Like, And they ca- they take care of themselves. Yeah, and they take care of themselves. You don't so need to walk them I can shit. leave for a weekend. Yeah. You know, I just leave extra food out. Um, if we're gone for more than a couple of days, we have someone swing by and like yeah. feed them. Would you ever trade one year cats for Kirby? Probably not. Okay, but he's um, very cute. That's not no yeah, offense. I'm not. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, look, his is back's, he mad? No, his backs to you though. I know. Yeah. He no, I, I'm not sorry. against cats. Did you ever think that you would talk about cats on like a a podcast? Yeah, a podcast. No, because I kind of feel like I'm being trolled. Like, because it's not that interesting, and I feel like people out there are snoozing. They're like already they skip to the next podcast already. No. <laughs> I'm hey, sorry. hey, if you if you switched off this shit, man. That's fucking Good not for right, you. dude. I mean, this is Nikki Limo, dude. <laughs> Respect it, okay? Yeah. Um, What's up? When did you start getting into like cooking and all that stuff? Okay, so that mm-hmm. is very recent. Very um, recent. Oh yeah. What so, made you do start? Because I didn't know how to cook. That's how I feel. Yeah, yeah, it sucks, and it's very intimidating. Yeah. There's so many utensils, and recipes talk to you as if you know what the fuck they're talking about. I don't know. And you don't. We don't know I what don't you're know. talking about. So, like, it'll be like, take a potato masher and blah. And I'm like, I don't what? Got, I don't, who gets, take a pastry cutter and cut the fuck. Where do what? you get that shit? It's not even a real th- utensil. Yeah. Like, I've never heard of that before. There's, there's so many utensils and pots and measurements that you never heard about before you started cooking. But most people, and mm-hmm. I didn't know this before, but most people started cooking when they were kids, like their parents would teach them how to cook. Yeah. Thanks a lot, mom. But you know how to make the basics. French cereal. toast. No, not cereal. Yeah. <laughs> French toast. Well, now I do. Scr- uh, um, omelets. Denver omelets. Never made an omelet. I've made okay. scrambled eggs. Me too. Okay. Um, Can you make a fried egg? No. no. Me, do, me, I don't know how to do that. Do me. you know how to do it, Bryce? George? All right, I wish me. I knew how this to do motherfucker. That. See, he's you want single. chili? He's marry him. Okay, he can this make is the you thing. We're pitching egg. George again. George can make the best pot of chili that you'll ever taste in your goddamn life. So women, give him a wow. chance. Hey, get the camera on him. No, I kind of want to date him. Get the camera. I kind of want to date him now. <laughs> so this motherfucker can make the best chili in the world. Do you know how to make chili? I do now. All right, let's break that down. 
All right. Because I need to learn. Oh, I don't know it by heart. Well, just you can do watch it. a video on youtube.com slash yeah. Nikki Limo. Okay. Search oh, you have beer a chi- chili. You, you, do, you have a video like that I already? Do. Um, just name some ingredients and stuff. Beer. Beer. <laughs> Beans. Beans. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Uh, you could add meat if you want. He is, does a vegetarian Yeah, one. me too. Okay. Thumbs up, George. Yeah, George. Save okay. the animals. You're missing onions, no? Onions, okay. for sure. Onions? Yeah. Jalapenos? Uh, um, no, okay. I don't do that. Okay. I don't do that shit. Okay, why sorry. Did you even... I don't even know why I brought that up. I'm so sorry. You, t- you asked me to list the ingredients. Yeah. You go uh, some wacky shit. Okay. Like so, <laughs> go ahead, Nikki. Um, the, the chipotle pepper. Oh, wait, a uh, chipotle. Mm-hmm. Chipotle pepper, George? Yeah? yeah. Okay, cool. Um, there's something in there that makes it smoky flavored. I think it's a chipotle pepper. Um, the there's a different type of oh, there's a different type of pepper. George, help, help us out, help man. Help us out, man. There's lots of varieties, but a chipotle would give it smoke. Yeah. Yes. Very see, cool. you see that? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm cool. just curious. Just my own curiosity. Tomato paste. Tomato paste. Or tomato? Don't you cut tomatoes yeah, yeah. and throw it in both. There? You do both. I'm just curious, my own curiosity, because usually when someone's making chili, it's like a big ass pot, and yeah. I don't see how they do it. Do you just throw shit in there? Yeah. What's the first thing you throw in the pot? That's what I want. Onions. Because you got to cook the onions first to get you, because they can't, they cook at a different speed than the other things. They're uh, slow. Oh. So you got you got to cook those first. And then what would you throw in next? Um, I don't know. Think about it. Diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. Yeah, he's, he's nodding at me. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> well, so how do you substitute the ground beef? Because uh, if it's vegetarian. Add more, be- add more beans. So oh. like, say you only have black beans, add kidney beans. So Maybe what beans, beans are, like, you could add any All beans. beans? All beans. Any beans. Any beans. You can really add any beans. How long does it take to cook a whole pot of chili? Well, I've only done the slow cooker mm-hmm. recipe, mm-hmm. so... It was slow. It was eight hours. It was just as advertised. Fuck. Very slow. Eight hours. Yeah, but what's cool about Fuck. that is you put all the ingredients in. Yeah. You set it and forget it. You go home. You go work. You do go, your shit. Go work out. Yeah. Do your shit. Do your laundry. So it's cooking on a low heat. Yeah. You can and just leave it at home. Just leave it, and then your house smells delicious oh. when you come home. And then you scoop it out into a bowl, and it's all yeah. done for you. It's like someone's at home cooking for you all day. Top five spices you would put in chili. Ah, uh, that's a good one, right? George? Garlic, garlic, salt, salt, uh, pepper, pepper, chipotle pepper, chipotle pepper. Uh, it's always the last one that gets me um, with your list items. Garlic powder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You nodded at me. All right, this interests me because I just, me too, I've gotten in. I'm going to break my stove out. <laughs> oh, damn. This is a, wow. So, Bryce, you got one of these, right? Love it. It's an Awatani. Um, you can get this at any Asian market. Can you bring that in the car? Yeah, I mean, we, there's a box. See that black box near the trash can? Yeah. It just goes in there, and then you just put the, um, you put the, the gas right there. That's cool. Bryce, do you like it? The best. So you could do it at the beach. That's, yeah. That's so so cool. we're looking for sponsors right now for the show. So Awatani, Awatani, holler at us. Get it. Awatani. Awatani. So Awatani. have you used anything like this? Because you have a r- real oh. kitchen at home. Yeah, I do. I have a real kitchen, not so you're not very a fortunate portable one. Yeah. Thank you. Because not everyone has a kitchen. I yeah, yeah I didn't realize. Yeah. Um. <laughs> what's now. your favorite thing to cook? Out of everything. Oh, gosh. You're coming at me with the yeah. hard ones. What is Steve like? I don't fucking care. Okay. <laughs> I'm asking he's a your, bunch of questions your, about him. He's you. your husband. So? <laughs> he makes the grossest shit. He does. <laughs> okay, like, that's what I want to... I'm like, go uh, ahead and make your uh, own food. Yeah, yeah. Top five <laughs> grossest plates Steve Green has made. No, Steve only makes one thing, and what it's is bad. It? What is it? He cooks frozen chicken with stir-fry veggies from for the freezer. Everything's from the freezer. But he doesn't... You would think, like, that's pretty easy. You know, you... You take from the freezer. It's already pretty much cooked for you. You just put it on the stove. But no, he doesn't uh, thaw out the meat first. He, he just does. straight from the freezer right to the stove. And it's the chewiest, rubberiest meat you will ever 
chew in your in your mouth ever. It's almost amazing how bad he can make it. And then on top of that, while it's cooking and like there's smoke fucking everywhere because the freezer Are you, burn is you like, like burning You like watching it. him do this shit? I smell it from the other room. So like because, Steve. so while it's happening and this chicken, this poor chicken <laughs> that didn't, it didn't deserve this. Oh my God. It's the Steve. freezer burn is burning off. It's like uh, off of the stove. Yeah. And he puts Tabasco sauce on that. Oh, so oh that's my man. Because I love Tabasco. Fine. That's my man. Okay, Steve. Try smelling it with oh. a burnt chicken freezer burn and Tabasco. <laughs> Oh, and just it just infiltrates oh, your nostrils. Oh, he marinates it with that. Yes. Oh no 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 no, Steve. Yes. Steve, Steve, Steve. Like not not after it's cooked, oh, while it's cooking. Stevie, Stevie, the frozen Stevie. chicken. Oh Jesus. Yeah. That's the only thing he can make. And it just goes inside your nostrils. It just it it's. Oh my! Has he made not, it for you? Not fun. You're no. Not, you're not gonna eat that. Oh no. He doesn't cook for you. Uh, no, I don't want him yeah. to. So you cook for yourself. No, but I tell him go get me Chipotle. And he's very able to do that. So that's keeping Who our marriage like alive. Who doesn't like that? I love Chipotle. You, yeah, 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 me too. Chipotle was the, our first oh married meal. Really? As a couple, right after we said I do, we hopped on a trolley and we went to Chipotle, and the whole bridal party got out of a trolley and went through the Chipotle line. <laughs> And we all got Chipotle. We saw, you know, we were just watching your wedding oh. video before you came in. Oh, that's and, nice. And uh, my girlfriend, um, who you guessed her ethnicity. Yeah. She cried. Filipino. She She cried uh, when Steve was saying his vows. Yeah. Everyone did. Except for me because I Dude. was trying to think of other things while he was saying it because I didn't <sighs> want to cry. Yeah. Because I cry very easily. And I had just done my makeup. I got like the bombest makeup done. Yeah. Oh, I saw the video. By, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. You had uh, the hairdresser. Yeah. And your everything. That took a long time. Mm-hmm. And we hadn't taken pictures yet. So mm-hmm. I will be goddamned if you're going to ruin my makeup before we get pictures taken. You know how much wedding photography costs? No, no. let's break that down too. So oh my God. For anyone's planning, who's planning oh a God. wedding, how much does that I shit, had how, no idea. How much does that shit cost? So, okay, so I was like, we're going to keep this real low budget. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get everything done for under $1,000. That's right, that's right. I didn't know. I thought like the most expensive birthday party I ever had was mm-hmm. like 500 bucks. That was like, you know, I got some bottles in the club, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I thought basically a wedding's a joint birthday party. Mm-hmm. So thousand dollars tops, we could do it. We you could had a budget, right? You're like, fuck yeah. thousand. That's yeah. Yeah, That's what I thought. That's mm-hmm. what I thought. I didn't know because I'd never been to a wedding before. By the way, PS, my wedding was the first wedding I went to. Oh, for those of you <laughs> Yeah. Oh, really? So I didn't know. I didn't know. And now on top of that, they jack up all the prices once you say the word wedding. And and they check on you to make sure you're not lying. Damn. So I thought maybe we could just get away with being like, it's an event. <laughs> Can I guess how much you spent? Yeah, go overall? ahead. 20,000? 20, no, less than that. S- 17,000? More than that. 18,000. Yeah. 18,000. So three. three. Guess how it. much my budget. That's a lot of money, like, dude. Guess the max budget I had planned. For the whole thing? Like, after I found out it was going to be more than $1,000. 2500 No. 4500 I thought $10,000. Oh, 10000 yeah, 10 so, cheese. So my, my parents Woo. were like, we'll give you $10,000. You can use it for the wedding or for a house. Because I had been like, fuck the wedding. I want a house, right? Your parents offered? Yeah. Oh, and that's so, nice. So then, yeah, it was super nice of them. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to have so much money left over after this. Mm-hmm. Like, they seem like nice people. I saw them walk you out. Oh, they're yeah, the yeah, best. Yeah, I love yeah, my parents. Yeah. And Steve's parents are the best, too. I really I didn't like- see them in the video. They were in there. Oh, they were? Like Steve danced with his yeah. mom. Okay. Maybe you didn't get that far. Oh, no, okay. I didn't get that far. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get that far. But like, yeah, they were they were really cool. Like a mm-hmm. lot of people are like, oh, I hate my in-laws. Not me. I love mm-hmm. my in-laws. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Sherry, Sherry and Chuck. What, what? Yeah. That's a Steve move. Do a couple more shout outs. Do a couple more. Who else? Uh, Bro- brothers out, and sisters. Shout out to Dane. Shout out to Dane. Nate Green. N- Nate Green. Jen Green. Well, her name's Gustafsson now. Gustafsa. Yeah. Okay. Mufasa. Mufasa Green. No, that was. Oh, okay. Eustasa. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go back to the bud. So ten yeah. G's and it's how did you, then it's how did stupid. you? It's Then how did you get the other money? To, to uh, well, okay. So it takes eighteen months for well to plan my wedding. It was mm-hmm. eighteen months. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't like you just give someone eighteen thousand dollars. Like it was like little by little. 
So they break you down like that. Like you think you're holding your ground and then like you don't realize. Who's they? The caterers? The wedding industry. The man. So you went to the a- patriarchy. You went to a certain place to for them to plan the whole thing? No. Okay, you do separate things? Yeah, because no, it, it's so expensive. Okay, if you have money. Okay. If you have money Let them and, know. or time- then a wedding is great for you because you could just hire. If you have money, you can hire a wedding planner, and they'll do everything. They'll mm-hmm. you just tell them what your tastes are, mm-hmm. and they'll be like this, this, or this, and you go that one, and then you just do that for the whole wedding. You're just like that one, that one, that one. It's so fucking easy for you. If you have time, then you're just at home like mm, I get all this time to pick out and like make my own yeah, shit, yeah, like right. Yeah. But if you don't have money or time, you are so screwed. You have no idea. There is no place for you in this wedding industry. So what they do is they break it down like okay, like get the get the cheapest venue you can get, right? So well, you you're in City Hall, weren't you? Yeah. Well, that's gotta you be cheap. You think it was free? It's free, it dude. It used to be free. No, it's a public place. It has to be free. No, it's free if you elope there. What does elope mean? Elo- what? Elope? Yeah, you never heard elope? No, what does that mean? I'm it's- so sorry. <laughs> I'm it's so sorry. You, it's when you get married and you don't tell anyone, basically. Oh. Like, you just go to the courthouse and you sign a paper. Oh, you just and do you're it. like, we're, we're married. Yeah. It's basically like you get knocked up and you're like, I don't want my parents to know. Sure. Boom, boom, we're married. Boom. 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 Right, right. It's all right. said and done now. Fuck. So, like, you need two witnesses, I think, for that. And Damn. so that's like, yeah, that's still free. I think it's $100 for a marriage license still. Yeah. So it's 100 bucks. But Fuck, man. Yeah, so it's at the courthouse. It used to be free, but then people caught on that. <sighs> That's actually a really beautiful location for a wedding. Oh, yeah. The Sunken Gardens. It's outside. Yeah. And- we had our wedding at the Santa Barbara Courthouse, which uh-huh. is like the Sunken Gardens is is like it's just mm-hmm. pretty. It's outside, it's grass and flowers and it's great. Uh, and the architecture in Santa Barbara yeah. is did award you, winning. Did they provide the chairs? No, I had to rent those out too. Fuck. Yeah, they don't no, they don't give you shit. How you, many chairs? How how much were the chairs? Okay, so I split it with this other wedding that was happening at the courthouse. Mm-hmm. So between the two of us, or maybe there was three of us, because they do like three different segments for weddings. Uh, my wedding, I had a wedding coordinator, and she had other clients that were getting married that same Damn, day. And bro. so we split it, and it was two fifty. Two hundred fifty. Two hundred fifty bucks for how many chairs? For fifty chairs. That's some bullshit. Fifty chairs. Couldn't you have just went to IKEA and just bought you your could, own chairs? If you have a, so a delivery for, system for that, so and you want to do that. For those of you who want to plan a marriage, never go t- and rent the chairs. Buy your own chairs like these yeah. on the Stevie Weeby show. And then you have to hire a delivery guy, though. Oh God, that might or be like more a truck. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be pricier. Right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. I'm wrong. So I take that back. Or you're setting um, it up in your wedding yeah, dress. Yeah. No, and you're no, like I'm taking that back. The I actually, go, go, do it legit. Because I thought about each of these chairs so, are fifteen dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. They got it all figured out. Fuck. They are the man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, let's keep going. So it's. So, I, I didn't even. I just. Yeah, I'm so trying think, to think as I go. So you think like okay? Instead of buying this expensive wedding venue where they have everything provided, mm-hmm. you know, because it's like fifty dollars a plate or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Or you're like, I'm going to go cheaper and I'm going to find it separately, mm-hmm. right? It doesn't end up being that much cheaper because of this shit. So, Give me another example. Okay, what about so the cake? The cake. The cake, I was like, okay, I'm not spending 500 bucks on a cake, which was like- Baskin Robbins, dude. Yeah. Well, you know what? I thought Costco at first. Yeah, I was gonna go, dude, Costco. I was going to go Costco, but then um, there's this place called Crush Cakes and they make these little cupcakes. And that was actually, I thought it was a- pretty low budget option but how still, much how much how much it was still 300 bucks Fuck. for but for like a hundred three and two you're already 500 it was 100 the, cupcakes plus a yeah. cake topper fuck yeah i know all right give me another example okay what about, what about the, the catering the food and stuff so the food we did trejo's tacos i was gonna do chipotle but they don't deliver shout out to trejo's tacos shout out to trejo's tacos where you are they at they're in they're off la brea right here the, um, off la brea yeah and trejo's and if you Cuenca. want to sponsor this show <laughs> Trejo's Tacos. You know Danny Trejo? Holl- I'm a big fan of his. Yeah, so he started this. Holler this at us, man. I'm a big fan of your acting and everything. Me too. Okay. Bob knows him. Yeah, I don't know. I'll talk to Bob, see what happens. Talk yeah, to yeah. Bob. Yeah. Um, How's let's, he let's, I, like, I like this wedding thing because okay, okay. uh, this is it's interesting to me. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. So we so, were going to do Chipotle. That was yeah, going to be our cheapest been, option. Yeah, dude. Right? But they don't deliver. So then I'd have to have someone pick it up, but I can't have anyone pick it up because they're all in the wedding. Your homegirls. They're in the wedding. Fuck. Yeah. So George would have done it. Well, that's true. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't think of that. Yeah. (laughs) 
You gotta ask George, We should ask man. George. Yeah. We didn't think of that. So fucking Chipotle so, doesn't deliver. No, so we had lunch at Chipotle. What about Postmates? They could have Postmates. They could have, but that's more expensive. Is it? Because it's so much food. Yeah, and they have to set it up. Fuck. So, okay, yeah. So then we were like, we, so we had dinner one time at Trejo's Tacos in Hollywood, and we're like, oh, this is bomb. Like, I wonder if well, they well, do- the street tacos? They were, they, yeah, they're street taco style. I love that shit. So we want to do buffet style. Yeah. And what I like about Trejo's Tacos, sponsor us, by the way, P.S. Trejo's Tacos, holler at us, man. Uh, holler at us, yeah, at please. least. Shout out on Twitter. Yeah, exactly. Um, they do vegetarian tacos, like oh, vegan and vegetarian. And we had some shit. vegans and vegetarians. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they did jackfruit tacos mm-hmm. for us. Mm-hmm. And it was bomb as fuck. Like people, carnivores, like people that love meat. Love we're those. eating up the jackfruit tacos. They were so good. How much was it for Trejo's tacos? So it was like, and so that. we had a hundred guests, mm-hmm. 110 guests is what we were planning for. And that's for. small too for right, a that, wedding. I know. Come yeah, on, dude. That was the number one regret I have, by the way, P.S., <sighs> with, the, with the wedding planning, is that we cut out a lot of our friends. I Because I have a huge family. I have a huge Filipino fa- family, 90 people on our Filipino side. The Filipinos, your dad's Filipino. Yeah, my dad's. mom's white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my family alone was like 75 people and then Steve's family was like another 20. So it was like 95 people were just family. And then, so we had to cut a lot of our friends out because- 95 and then George. Yeah, and then George. Well, he's family. Yeah. Him and Steve, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll he's on the, we'll get he's on the Steve side. We'll get to that. Um, yeah, keep going. Yeah. Please. So yeah. so like we had to cut our family or our friends out, and I feel so bad because there's so many people that I would have loved to have there. Like who? Uh, hey, you can make amends too on the show if you want. That's true. So um, go ahead, do a couple that you regret. Well, like a lot of YouTubers, like a lot of. Go ahead, name some. Um, e- Eric. Eric? Yeah. She's sorry. Uh Josh. Josh, Leva. she's sorry. Um uh oh, you put me on the spot. Yeah, now like if she misses somebody. Yeah, I know, exactly. Oh, oh, we'll there's edit a whole it. list we'll of edit it. All, oh, we'll... all the JK crew. JK News in yeah. the house, fool. Well, we, we love them. Yeah, we love them too. David well, So. We didn't really we had already had the guest list set before like we got close to the JK crew. Cause then we got really close right next to the wedding with mm-hmm. them but they're good people like, aren't they i love them those are the we peoples. were so bummed that they weren't on that we could didn't invite God, them and like you, couldn't oh, get the man, invites that i been know like, oh, i man. know and then on top of that oh, family man. didn't even show up so there was like 25 oh, spots you could have had jojo and at least bart and jojo roll through right right and then like yeah then like you could cool too Gio? yeah yeah that's I your Gio. homie that's your homie oh my yeah. god yeah Geo, Tiff, Julia, yeah, all of them, all the ladies yeah. of JK, they're the best. Yeah. yeah, no, I love them, and so there's that whole crew. <sighs> Do you feel we, guilty about that? Oh, like, it did it eat you up a little bit I inside? A little bit. I feel like it would have been more fun. Yeah, dude. Right? Yeah, because like, they're so you entertaining. Only get one wedding. Yeah, and but like we just didn't know that family was gonna bail. People bail. People don't tell you they're not gonna but show RSVP'd up. RSVP. You didn't RSVP. They RSVP'd and didn't show up. That's some bullshit. Yeah. I had planned on the other way around. Like yeah. people that didn't RSVP showing up and we not having room for them. Mm-hmm. But I didn't plan on like 25 people just not showing up. Right, Like right. people just not showing up. Shame on you, man. Yeah. You don't fucking do that for a wedding, okay? Our guest okay? list was tight and you yeah. didn't show up. So whoever did that to her, please apologize. You're dead to me. I don't yeah, even know apologize you. Apologize to her. I don't even know pronto, you. Pronto, <laughs> okay? Um, let's go back to Trey Ho's Tacos. How yeah. much was oh, the yeah, ve- Trey Ho's Tacos. I love Trey Ho's Tacos. tacos. Yeah. How much was the vending? Go ahead. It's like 2500 <laughs> For Trey Ho's Tacos. Yeah. Whoa, that's yeah. Ouch. I mean, this is for 100 Ooh. people too. Would you, you break it down? That's like 25 bucks a plate. It's not okay, that okay. bad. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's still just I that mean, number though. Yeah, Ooh, I know. 2500 Yeah, it Dude. came with some bomb you ass. You could buy like a used Honda Civic or something for you that. Could. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. All right, keep going. So, wait, what are we down? We're down. Okay, but this was We're cool. down about 5000 right now, aren't we? 4000 Yeah. And I didn't even. Because you said 500 400 The dress. That's what you're talking about. They slowly build. Slowly, 500, yeah. 500 400 and 350 you make a deposit on each of these. So, like. You have you, to do Like, do so, you, yeah, you give like a half up front. So, you're like, oh, it's not that bad. You know, it's like. Here's 500 bucks here, 
500 yeah. bucks there. And then all of a sudden you get hit with all these invoices and it's like, <laughs> God, your stress level must have been oh, out it was the roof. Out man. the roof. People are like, oh. why aren't you making YouTube videos? Why is your content dying? It's like, well, because fucking this shit. And how come I have to plan it all? I didn't ask for this. What's up with Steve? Well, Steve can't do it. Steve, man. He doesn't do it right. So like, Steve Green, <laughs> what's up, man? <laughs> Right, Steve. I know. It's like when I broke a dish when I was a kid because I didn't want to wash dishes anymore. It's like that's t- my husband, but he didn't mean to break the dish. He owes you that for cooking that chicken, right? The Tabasco chicken. No, not only can he not cook, but he cannot plan a wedding. Also. You did it all. I did it all. You did it. I did. Steve. And I, I'd never been to a wedding either. It was oh like not like I had God. any guidance. My parents got married on a Tuesday on their lunch break. That's what's up. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Talk about eloping. Like that's, that's cool. My mom went to go back to work after that's she got married. That's what eloping is. <laughs> yeah. And, and her boss was like, what? Go home. Like, what the fuck? Why are you here? And she's like, well, because it's work day. <laughs> hey, they saved a lot of money. Yeah, they did. They did. But I think there's a part of her that regrets it. Why? Because it was so they're fun. Happy. They're still married, no, right? No, they are. Yeah. But like, you know, but now that's all they yeah. have. Like, you oh. didn't get the wedding, that experience. And that was my whole big thing is like, yeah. this was stressful as fuck. This is like expensive. But at the end of the day, at the end of my life, I don't want to have any regrets. I don't want to have something mm-hmm. that I wish I would have done. Mm-hmm. And it's not like you can redo a, a wedding or a it's marriage. A yeah, unless you mm-hmm. get remarried. Mm-hmm. And then you could renew your vows, but it's not the same. People don't care as much about mm-hmm. that, you know? And so I didn't want, I wanted to have that bright experience. I wanted to know at least what it was like. So at least I could complain about it later, like, mm-hmm. and know what people were complaining about. Right. If it sucked, like, I could be like, yeah, it totally sucked. I went through it. Yeah, you know? Like, but if I didn't go through it, then I'd have to just wonder, like, did it, would it suck? I'd probably be like, yeah, probably sucks. And I'd probably, did, did you? Oh, rent a limousine too? No, a oh, trolley. How much was a trolley? That was four hundred. Fuck. All right. Oh, I know. Let's and then we going. had champagne on the trolley too. How much was that? Pop I mean, and we went to Costco, uh, pop and bottles. Yeah. Shout out to Costco. Shout they got Costco. great deals they really and everything. Do. My mom loves the pizza there. Are they sponsoring you? Yeah, so Costco, <laughs> if, uh, man, we're really struggling with the sponsors. Costco, holler at us. We like Stevie Weeby Show. Please it's holler at us. Really good deals. They have great deals. Wholesale, yeah. I got my TV. I like the there. way you think, though, because you're like on a budget. And, Thank you. Yeah. But I'm on a budget, but I won't sacrifice quality. There you go. You know? Yeah. And that's what Costco has for me. Are you, um, what's your sign? <clears throat> Are you, you want to guess? Well, I'm a Virgo. Oh, Steve's a Virgo. Yeah, Virgo. And you're and both I, named Steve. Yeah. Are you I'm, the same person? No, no, I'm not. Trust me, I'm not. No, I'm a okay. small Korean okay, guy. Okay, okay. Um, but I'm very nitpicky. I'm I'm pretty yeah. frugal and I organize. You know, I'm like very tactful as far as that stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah. that's one thing we have in common with. Yeah. Is he like that too? Yeah. Like we like to get like we like to we like a good deal, right? Yeah. But then does he? He doesn't spend. He doesn't. No. I don't spend. I spend. Yeah, Ilani spends more than me. Yeah, I mean, so it's and, usually the women, that, right? The women. Yeah, well, do there's that. more things for us. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, that's what it's, guys don't. It's a need, conspiracy. What is it? Oh, well, because they tell you you need makeup, you need clothes, a lot of things guys don't need. What the? Do fuck? you need a purse? No, you don't. Do you need makeup? No, Why not really. Is lip gloss like fifty bucks, right? Why? That's what f- I'm saying. Like Mac. Why do women need? I need Mac. You, I need Mac. I don't. I Why don't, Mac? That's like such a '90s reference. Like the, Mac. Yeah, it's not even. Uh, okay, so it's not Mac, <laughs> but the, the designer <laughs> shit. The designer <laughs> shit. Hey, just bleep the new shit. The the real shit that's out. Yeah, yeah. Bleep that in. Just insert Smashbox. Yeah. Is that? But that was two thousand. <laughs> <laughs> that was 2000, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mac was 2000. Okay, thank God. I yeah. thought I was outdating myself. No, Mac is 2000. Ooh, God, I'm, I almost broke sweat. But you know, 2000s, Ooh, like, Mac. there are 18 year olds now that were born in the year 2000. Do you understand? Like, 2000 is no longer just around the corner. It was like oh a my. long ass time ago. Oh my God. Right? I'm dating my. I don't even want to begin to think of that. They don't. That freaks I don't. me out. I that just freaks listen. freaks me out. All I do is listen to 90s music and yeah, pretend we're, yeah. that we're still there. Oh my God. So let's go back. Let's go back to the wedding. Let's go back to the okay, wedding. Okay. Go back to the um, wedding. What other, like, let a couple other. Um, the dress. How much was that? Oh, so I went in being like, I'm not spending money on a dress. Like, there's such pretty dresses you could find. For, not at Costco. Not at Costco. Okay. No. Costco, upgrade your wedding dress selection. Yeah. I bet you could make a killing off that. Can they you go to like a thrift 
thrift store. Like I don't a, want that juju on me. Oh, if anyone's yeah, put it like, what if their marriage didn't oh, work out? Yeah, yeah, what if yeah. the bride died in it? You don't know. There's energies attached yes. to the shit. I don't want that. I don't need any of that I in my life. I believe that shit. Me too. That's why I won't shop at thrift stores. Oh. Unless you sage it. Like, you know, sage it or something. <laughs> Thanks a lot, George. George, <laughs> these lamps he got at the fucking Goodwill, sage man. Him, sage him. Thank you. Thank you. you. No, <laughs> man. This shit, this, I think someone died why, in there. This place is haunted, by I the know. way. Well, yeah, and it you happened go. once you got these goddamn lamps. See? That's what... Haunted by friendly ghosts. <laughs> Caspers, dude. All Caspers. Wow. You got lucky. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> Caspers, <laughs> dude. All, All Caspers. All Caspers. Caspers. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> Can you imagine, though, like a, a place guy, trying to man, sell turning red uh, like tickets to a haunted Fucking hotel, killer. but they're all friendly ghosts. Everyone like yeah. went, went there for like a yeah. horrifying experience and they just get greeted with kindness. Did you have any ghostly or haunting stuff before the wedding or during the wedding? Like, no. Are you weird? into that? Yeah. You're into that shit? No, this place is haunted. Is it? Well, my neighbor's is up front. Oh, I'm I'm a woman of God, so they don't okay. bother me. Catholic. Yeah. Same well, with was that. Catholic. But dude, yeah. that's that Filipino side, man. I know that's you how gotta I was do it, man. You gotta do it. I've showed up to sir, mass. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I did the whole. Yeah. So we're saved. Yeah, I did so, the whole thing. Yeah. Man. You don't, have you seen ghosts? Um, I was almost possessed or Sinner. haunted. No. <laughs> and um, I'm from a place called Poway. Um, oh, okay. I've heard of in it. In San Diego. Yeah, yeah. Um, Steve's from Poway, too. How the what? fuck? Are you kidding? No. George? He- Escondido and Poway. Yeah. Yeah, so you're George, both you Virgos. Said that. And it's named Steve. He's from, from Escondido, Pow- Poway? That's how you get the ghosts. Are you kidding? No. Oh, my God. You never said this, man. He's from my hometown. How could you not say this? That's my hometown. So he's from my hometown. Yeah. Well, he'll tell you he's from Indiana, which is a joke. He moved when he was five, what but he's school, still a Colts fan. What high school did Steve go to? Um, I don't, Rancho Bernardo. I went to the the, the opposed, other one. Yeah, Poway. I went to you Poway. Guys were rivals. Yeah. Rival schools. So he was a Bronco. I guess. RB Broncos. I don't know your shit. Okay, but anyway, so in Poway, um, my house was. Most likely um, built Haunted? on a, like an Indian burial ground. <gasps> yeah. You know, it's crazy because I talked to my mom like recently. I just was in Arizona. They live in Arizona now. Yeah. And I, br- I always bring it up like, mom, tell us, uh, did you have any experiences? And she goes, oh, yeah. Like, no. like I, w- I was held down in my room. Oh, my God. And um, I couldn't move. And I had Bible verses all over because I went to um, church camps and stuff. Yeah. And they held me down, and I heard all I heard was. Oh my god! But but like a legion, like <gasps> not just one voice, like a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah. Voices. They're trying to get in your body. Yeah, or they're they're holding me down, and so because uh, they want your body. I I don't know. I mean, who doesn't? Yeah, yeah but I tried <laughs> to say uh, yell Jesus. Yeah. But I could only get the J E. That's what happened. I was like, you know, that happened to Steve. Swear to God. Well, I don't know how much I can say. So, George, you might want to talk to Okay, now. yeah, we could edit but like, But, like, so he ha- gets sleep paralysis. And um, he gets shadow men in his sleep that, like, where he's basically out of his body. Did you say shadow men? Yeah, like shadow. Ask him tonight if shadow these shadow people. men have, like, top hats on. Cause Sometimes. Because my, my dad uh, has seen them, too. Whoa. And when he yeah, was about, my dad was about to die. He's He had a severe stroke. Wow. And when we went to, well, my brother and I went to visit him in the hospital room in Gilbert. Uh, he kept, uh, he couldn't talk because, you know, this was a gnarly stroke. Yeah, so yeah. he was, let's say the bathroom was over there. He was like, oh. and then my brother's like, what is it, dad? And then he found out like there is a shadow guy, a man with a top hat. Like, have you seen Poltergeist too? Yeah. Maybe like a Reverend Kane, like Shit. shadow. Did Steve? Yeah. Experience that too. Well, I don't know if his have top hats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're big and they're they hold you down and um and so he'd been having a lot of episodes. Like he's had this since he was a kid. Yeah. But um, he started getting like a lot more episodes in a, in a row. Like he was where he got insomnia and was scared to go yeah, to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Um, where in Rancho Bernardo did he live? 
Did he live in the Poway side? Anywhere near Poway? I don't Poway? know. I don't. It'd be interesting for yeah, me it would personally be because um, I just discovered Poway. The root w- word is Pakwe. Like it's a Indian der- derivative word <laughs> for derived you from die, India. Like basically. no, no, it's like an Indian <laughs> tribe. Like India, like an Indian word. Yeah. Like Poway, Pak, something like yeah. that. So and and um, I just found out more shady shit of how. We, uh, my parents got the house. It was like a bad deal, like, oh. like where they, the previous owners, which was like my, my mom's sister. Yeah, they like probably knew some shit, but didn't tell her. Oh, yeah, shit. So it was like a shady type. You know, yeah. Like, well, here you go. We'll just cut up some of the price off here. You, your family move in here. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So okay, so you Power. try to say Jesus. Right? Yeah, I tried to say Jesus okay. and I couldn't say it, but then I finally went Jesus and I yelled it. Yeah. And it just like whew, like Yeah. Like like um uh, like I like the weight had lifted. Like no joke. Yeah. I'm not even religious. Like No, you, that's what happened. I'm not religious, dude. Like, but there's something that's um, that these spirits or ghosts are, they're afraid of that. There the, is that word. Yeah, some power to that yeah, word. Yeah, there's some power to that because word. Because yeah, basically don't. Steve and I were both raised Catholic. Yeah. And then we had decided, uh, like I decided in like eighth grade, I didn't want to be Catholic anymore. And he decided somewhere around there too, that he didn't want to be Catholic anymore. So neither of us, we're both spiritual, but neither of us were like really religious. Yeah, me too. Right. And, um, and so then he started having these episodes and. What, how old was he? Uh, when he started, it he was little, like five, six. How old is Steve? If you don't let me ask it, is he's he in his 30s? like fifty something. He's 50. No, no, he's thirty two. Okay. Yeah, he's thirty two. Okay. And um, and so like well, maybe like two years ago, mm-hmm. a year, a year or two ago, he started having a lot more episodes of these shadow people, and it was like getting nuts, where like he wouldn't go to bed, like he was not sleeping at night, and um, oh, he was just scared to go to bed, and um. And then he had heard that, like, you know, why don't you try using the power of Jesus Christ, basically. And he's like, at this point, I'll try anything because yeah. it's just insane. So he told me he was going to try and, sh- and say Jesus. Did you name. ever see this shit? No. So like, so basically when he is experiencing this, he can see his body and the shadow men like trying to get in. Right. And he can't get back into his body and he sees it like in real time. Like, so he sees me sleeping next to him and he, and he can't like wake me up. Right. And he, he's, yeah. And he's tried so hard. He's screamed. He's been like, Nikki, wake up, wake me up, wake me up. And I, I don't hear anything. Nothing happens. I'm also a really heavy sleeper, but this all of a sudden, I remember I was in bed and we were, I was sleeping and oh, I hear, man. I hear like, Jesus, Jesus. Yep. And I was like, kind of laughing. Similar like to my first, story. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like, he's having a, a dream and he's like sleep talking. No. Cause I sleep talk no, he's and I, to I totally forgot. Yeah. And about the Jesus Christ thing. And then I, like he kept trying to he kept, Jesus Christ, and I was like, "Oh my God, he's saying Jesus Christ!" And I start like waking up, like Steve, wake up, wake up! And he's like, oh, "Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, thank you." He was present that whole time. Like he didn't come out like a guy that was sleeping. Like, oh what? He was like, "Thank you, oh my God, thank you so much, thank you for doing that." He was yeah, like he needed, trying to get in his body help. the he whole time. Help. Yeah, he needed help. It was insane. And so after that, wow, we started dude. sleeping with a Jesus candle next to our bed. We tried to get a crucifix, but there we just didn't find one. And so I had a Jesus That's candle. That's crazy. It's similar to my story. Yeah. It's similar. And like as soon as... Will he, you tell him tonight after you, when you go home? Yes. About what, what, I, what I told you about Poway and yeah. my experience and what my dad experienced. Totally. Because, um, yeah, this shit's real, man. Like... You know, I, I honestly believe like yeah, this is an illusion. This whole thing's an illusion. Like when we're like caught in like yeah. a modern day matrix type shit, and there's shit out there we can't see, like archonic forces and reptilians and other demonic things that are like feed off our energy and shit. Totally. And, and we just can't see it, but they're there. Right. They're like on the cusp of the third and fourth dimension. Mm-hmm. But yeah, because there's, dude. I'm telling you, I I I feel bad for the, the. There's a single man that bought the house. Yeah. I felt I felt bad for him. Yeah. Cause dude, he was gonna experience some days of hell there. Shit. A single dude, good luck. And there's people, by the way, like it's not just like, oh, there might be stuff out there. There's people that can see these things yeah, walking around. Yeah. Like some they, of it's you, bullshit, yeah, but some of them so are real. Some you, of them you are real. Write everybody off. Like yeah, I mean, yeah, who yeah. knows who's telling the truth and stuff. But I can tell you firsthand that Steve's one of the most cynical people I've ever met. He would love to he's not real. believe in anything. Yeah. He's real. He's not a bullshitter. No, yeah. Like, he, he's, he's funny. I could tell I don't know him, but he seems like funny and he jokes around, but you yeah, could tell right. but you could tell he's 
He's a real dude. No, yeah, he's real. he he's he real. is always takes the side of um would rather figure out like something not being true, right? Right. So like he wouldn't just jump on like oh my god a ghost, you know? He would yeah. be like, what scientific reason could this be first? And mm-hmm. like you know maybe there was a draft, maybe there was this, maybe mm. there was a light shining and it looked like a shadow or something like that. No, no. But this is not that. This no, no. Is there like, are shadows. I don't know dark, what they're called. And it's like, did you feel goosebumps? Like, oh, just dude! Raining of goosebumps. No, I felt them holding me down. That's insane. They're holding me down. And I was like, I was under the covers and I was profusely sweating. Dang. Like I was like sweating my, like, and I could not move. Like, and the voices were, it wasn't one voice. It was a bunch of them, like a legion of voices. <sighs> like, oh my God. Oh my God. It was so scary. So and, but then that? my mom and dad, like going back to them, like, yeah. cause I needed confirmation. Like maybe I was tripping. I was young, but my mom said, uh, whenever they parked, it was only on that side of the house. Uh-huh. And whenever they parked, because the garage was on that side, yeah. hallway with our, me and my brother's, you know, bedrooms. And they said they would have to run from the garage to their fucking room because they felt like they, they felt like they were trying to grab them, pull them down. Ew. And my brother, same shit. And then have Bob talk about this on Tiger Belly because I brought it up to Bob. I go, dude, like this happened to me. And he's like, yeah, the same thing happened to me. He had to jump in the swimming pool to get those motherfuckers off. What? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it's real. Dude. And you know what I found out last time I was in Gilbert is uh, that it's on that side. My mo- That's the reason why they built the other section of the house, like the, the TV room. We built a whole different section on the other Whoa. side. It's because of that fucking reason but i found that out like a couple like a week ago because my mom's like that's why we built the room uh, <laughs> extra because that because because that because that fucking side of the house was fucking de- it was filled with demons man that's so scary yeah like, it's real and you don't know when you're my buying mom, a house like you don't know what you don't know you're about to buy a haunted house no i you know what i would like i don't know if because today's technology is so off, you know, it's off the charts and shit. Mm-hmm. They, there's probably, like, there are shows like Ghost Hunters and shit where they get the EVP. Mm-hmm. That's what, that would have helped me out. Yeah. If back then in the 90s, we had electronic voice phenomena, whatever, those machines. Yeah. The, those recorders and the fucking software for that shit, that would have helped us out. But That would have that would have helped. You but know? would you have believed it? Yeah. You know? I think I would have. If Before I experiencing it? If I could... Hear it? Yeah. If I could hear it oh, with headphones yeah, yeah. on and I'm like, hey, then give it to your friend, listen. Yeah. Or, Mom, you listen. What do you think? Come on. Yeah. That's like, damn. That's a lot of proof. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean. So, Steve, that's crazy that, one, yeah. that Steve's, we're from the similar towns. Yeah. Two, like we. we same name. We ex- same name. Same, same star same, sign. What's his, when's his birthday? August 27th. Oh, God. <laughs> Our mine's the 25th. Okay. Because if, if you, let me tell you something. If you would have said the 25th, I would have, I would have said, Bryce, cut the camera. I need a break. <laughs> Dude, he almost, was it on are my, you, are you I'm 32? Bur- what? Are you 32? No, I'm in my 40s. What? I'm eight years older. Oh my I'm God. Way more older. You don't age. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, but. Like no wrinkles at all. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. See, George, I'm like, you know, we could tell tell the sponsors that I'm 32. You really could. I'm 32. Also, you know? baseball hats like make everyone look younger too. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna start wearing baseball so hats. So I'm two days. Oh, I almost his birthday. Yeah. Oh, um, but we're still on the cusp, Virgo yeah. Leo cusp. Uh huh. Very similar. Yep. I need to meet. So Steve Green. You're both comedians. Uh, I've I tried comedy. I yeah. did you stand up? I did for seven okay. years, but you out here? I did, yeah, but yeah, like, I did open mics out here. Okay. I haven't done it in a while, but I, I used to do it out here. George, George does it. Right? Yeah, I know. So if uh, for those of you uh, who do comedy in LA, George has an open mic at Tribal Cafe. Especially you single Wednesdays. ladies, go out there check Wednesdays out. Tribal Cafe. Go support George's Give them open your mic. Number. Oh, that's right. Okay, so ladies, let's reformulate. <laughs> let's reformulate this, ladies. George has an open mic at Tribal Cafe every Wednesday. So if you like George or you're interested, come on through. Go on through. And Little Ray might show up soon, right? Little Ray might show up. Who's uh, Little Ray? 
I don't know. He's just some guy stuck in outer space, some cowboy guy. Uh, what? But we'll, we'll get into that some other time. <laughs> No, it's a puppet show I have at the end of the oh, show. Okay. You won't see it, but it's a puppet show I do at the end. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. But this is, this is interesting, so talking about this ghost stuff. I know. Huh? Your parents moved to Arizona? <sighs> yeah, they moved to Arizona. So they went from ghosts <sighs> to aliens. Yeah. Because Sedona and like... Oh, that's some different... Sh- yeah, I know. You know about that shit? Oh, yeah. The fucking... Yeah. And the, the energies and, and shit. Yeah, and your, the compasses, nothing uh, yeah, electronic yeah. works there. Like, yeah, it all just yeah. goes crazy and... Yeah, it's dude, crazy. this is becoming like this conspiracy theory podcast. Yeah. I didn't plan on it. Um, yes, now, you did. No, I didn't. George, First question before I sat down. Do you believe in conspiracy? Look, look, see these? Do you like ghosts? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> see right here? Yeah. Look what I have. First YouTube videos. Well, How boring. did you get your start? That's so boring. I know. Transitioning into other types of videos. Example, <laughs> cooking. Four. Other outside interests. Five, how she met Steve Green. Six, wedding video. We got to the wedding Yeah, we stuff. did. Um, Good job. Seven, tips for YouTube starters. <laughs> quit. Um, eight, how do you deal with negative YouTube comments? Just quit. Nothing about the paranormal or the supernatural. Yeah, but you knew. No, no, look. <laughs> on the back, even on the back, I have some notes on the back. Your social media, websites, <laughs> and then promotion. <laughs> George, I did this for you, brother. Because he always asks me, are you prepared? Uh, what, hey, that sounds what you, like a George what thing. What are you plan on, planning on not talking to him about? Uh, are, you, are you prepared, Steve? I did some planning myself, Steve. Uh, here, uh, I, I typed this out. I printed this out. It's like eight pages of shit. I'm like, oh, my oh, gosh. I'm not going to ask them Ladies, that. Ladies, you want I'm, a man that's going to organize your life? You want an organizer? Ready. Keep going, keep going. Get you want a redhead ginger organizer for your life? He's red here and he's red with the hair up down we here. We don't need to we don't need and to know he's if the got drapes that, match the carpet. And he's got that Polish thick sausage you ladies will love. Are you Polish? Is his mom watching? Does your mom watch this? God, I love Hopefully it when his not. face turns red. I know me too. It but no, his but beard. on the serious tip, I, I'm hoping he meets a girl. This 2018 is it's your, your fucking year, year, George. It's your, your star fucking sign? year. Uh, Scorpio. Me too. Hello. <laughs> you know, the one of the things Scorpios do, Virgos ladies, take note. If you were to date George, he would protect you with his stinger. Yeah, and the claws. Don't and the claws. And the claws. So if you're with George, he's going to protect you, man. He's a protector. Yeah. And also Scorpios are really loyal. Go ahead, keep going. Unless the you betray us, then don't we'll betray freaking her. George. kill you. Yeah. So don't betray George. Yeah. And you're fine. Do you have any um, family members from your Filipino side that um, like white guys? Yes, almost all of them. Huh? Pretty much all of them. Have they? Do they know who George is? Probably. I mean, did you meet them at my wedding? I met a few folks. Yeah. So, um, so like, most of my cousins are single. They like white guys. And dude, one, this one just guy's, moved to Cleveland though. So okay, well, f- we, George could fly him out here. Yeah. Yeah. Where were we? We were we, we were jumping all over the place. Mm-hmm. It went from I did not plan on talking about Steve in this supernatural type know, way just, or ghost stories. I didn't. Happen. It's not written down. They wanted us to talk about it. Who's they? they the shadow people. <laughs> <laughs> Gives them power. Have you? I like fucking. Have really. you experienced? It? No. Well. It's because you're Catholic. I don't know. I mean, because I was raised Catholic. Steve was raised Catholic, too. Really? You know? So. Yeah. It, that's on your dad's side, right? Yeah. Yeah. But um, I did I did get sleep paralysis before. Let's hear about that. I love I love these stories. So for, in my sleep paralysis, it was always, I figured it out. Mm-hmm. It was when you get too relaxed. So I'm like never relaxed. That's probably my secret. Mm-hmm. That's what happened to you. Steve yeah. and you are too relaxed. You're letting... You're just an open vessel for fucking ghosts to go through. Because oh. I used to want to astral project. And the reason I couldn't astral project, you know what astral project is? Yeah, it's like you leave your, you leave your body. body. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I read all of that. I got yeah, so yeah. excited. There's I, a book somewhere about that. I really wanted there. to do that because yeah. you can fly to anywhere in the world. Yeah. Like you can leave your body, go anywhere. I couldn't do it because I'm too, 
I'm not relaxed and I'm too controlling and it's typical Scorpio, yeah. you know? And so I couldn't do it. And, um, but I found out the reason I was getting sleep paralysis and like it was starting to happen was because from smoking hookah, sm- hookah would hookah? make, yeah, hookah would relax me. Oh. By the way, I can't smoke pot because I get even more intensely neurotic than when I'm not yeah, I don't, high. Yeah. Like most people smoke and they chill out and then I'm so jealous of them. Yeah. I smoke pot and I'm like, oh my God, everyone's Do you gonna get paranoid. Kill me. Yeah, I think yeah, like yeah. I'm gonna die, like everything's gonna die. And stoners are like, you just need to smoke the right strain, man. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I've smoked every fucking strain. It all makes me paranoid. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I don't smoke. But I used to smoke hookah and it was relaxing. At the hookah bars? No, I had my own hookah at home. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, it was great. So I would, I would you know, be in my apartment and a big papa's on chair yeah. and it would just be relaxing. I watched Netflix and smoke hookah. Oh, that's and like, cool. Yeah, it was just a good way to wind down. It's like having a glass of wine, but like it looks way cooler. How'd you get the different flavors? Is there a hookah store? Oh yeah, the- there was a hookah store. Oh, okay. I lived on, off of Hollywood Boulevard uh-huh. and so they, like literally I would just walk across the street and mm-hmm. there would be uh, this hookah place. Okay, yeah, yeah. With all this I shisha. Lived, I lived off um, Hollywood Boulevard uh, off uh, on Whitley. Oh, okay. you were right next to me. Yeah. I was on um, Cherokee. Yeah, I was on Whitley. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right near the, um, there's a liquor store right there on the. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We were neighbors. Dude, that's L sketchy off the boulevard. You yeah. Know, we could, it is, but I it's was. It's sketchy off the boulevard. It's, totally. There's some weirdos. Yeah. There is some weird shit going oh, on. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And you know, I have a conspiracy about the boulevard and how there's like Freemason because no. the Jimmy Kimmel building has that Freemasonry thing oh, yeah. written on it and how I feel like there's a weird vortex of weird ma- Masonic energy. What energies. do you think about the Denver airport? What What do you mean? Is there is that You're, haunted too or is there... You haven't heard about the Denver airport? No, go ahead. Let, let's talk about it. Okay, so like the Illuminati totally the, controls that place. Like that's like home is there, base. Is there imagery? Yeah, is there symb- everywhere. Is there, is there symbols? Murals. Because that's a Murals. giveaway is the symbols. Yes. The Symbol- symbols are a dead giveaway. There are gargoyles. There's oh. freaking, like, you got to go there. but Or, like, look it up on the internet. But George, like, you know about this? I've heard just very little about it. Yeah. Okay, the Denver airport has a mural of how the world ends. And then they have symbols that's everywhere. Like, uh, that reminded me of, that made me think of Damien. Omen, uh, Damien. Oh, yeah. About the Antichrist, those yeah. movies. Oh, yeah, there's children burning yeah, yeah, on the, yeah. in the mural. Just like, children why bur- would they have that? Why Children w- burning? Yes. Kirby! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> why would they have that imagery? Yeah, yeah, of yeah. Of children burning. Yeah. And there's like, okay, so there's a mural, and it's like the, how the world was, like all peaceful, and then all of a sudden everyone's dying and burning in hell. It's crazy. What terminal is this? The, in? Every, it's it's. I don't know what terminal. Yeah. When did you real? I mean, do, do people haven't complained okay, so about we, these? Oh yeah. Images. So like, oh no, it's all over the internet. Like you can look up and like Denver Airport. The first thing that comes up is probably that. But um, we had heard we had heard about it. We watched a documentary on it one time, and then we went there for a Broncos Colts game. And you, it's you guys nuts. Bronco, you guys are Broncos fans. No, um, Steve is a Colts fan. Okay. And Peyton Manning, you know, was. Uh, do you watch football? No, I, I don't know. I know nothing about it. Okay. Yeah. Well, their just, quarter, I, the Colts quarterback mm-hmm. switched to the Broncos. Okay. And then they were playing each other. So you guys needed to go to that game. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha, so gotcha. that was like a anniversary present for him. Oh. Yeah, I'm cute. Okay. Um. So yeah, we went to the Denver airport, and it's yeah, it was pretty, was pretty intense. I'm not gonna mm-hmm. lie. And there's certain areas that you're not allowed to go. No one's allowed to go there. And like not even people that work at the airport can go there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it just goes and there's tons of underground tunnels and like there's tons tunnel- of electrical. Wait, wait. There's tunnels? Yeah. There's tunnels at the airport? Yes, like there's under- tunnels. You said underground? Yeah. And electrical. The, I feel like there's tunnels off the boulevard near underneath the Jimmy Kimmel building. Yeah. And if you look at the Kodak Theater, there's um there's reptilian imagery, the statues, and the way it's like the way it's set up. Yeah. And then Get this. Where the fuck are the Oscars held every year? Right. There. And there. Do you know people at the fucking where the reptilian statues are? Where the reptilians are. are. And across from the Jimmy Kimmel building with the Masonic fucking shit on it. People will laugh at you. People could. Dude, Jim Carrey fucking was talked about it. That's why that's why they get away with it is because anybody that talks about it, they just look crazy. But Jim Carrey's not crazy. He's smart. Not if he talks about that, then he's just Dude, a crazy are you guy. Guys, who in here are Jim Carrey fans? Well, I used to be. He's kind of... <laughs> everyone in here raised their hand. He got crazy, Every, yeah. No, everyone in here raised their hand. on me. <laughs> I fucking love Jim Carrey yeah. shit. Well, Dave Chappelle talked Big about it. Big fan. 
Yeah. Well, he had to move to, a, he went to Africa. Yeah. He must have had a mental breakdown that's for real. What, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He knew like, the real. He knew more, the real. And Michael Jackson, Should, there was know, rumors that he, he knows was, the real. He was going to talk about it on his tour. That's the rumor. And then they killed him right before the tour. God damn. He wrote some damn good songs though, huh? Yeah. Fucking damn good music. But I think that it's perfect for them to hide in plain sight. Mm-hmm. Like what better way to hide a mass conspiracy than make it look like people are crazy if they talk about it. I just had an idea. Can we do this? Yeah. For the future, can we do a collab like YouTube collab where we go visit Yeah. like Masonic temples? Oh, I'd love that. Or go haunted houses. I can't do or, that, but Steve would love that. <laughs> yeah, or I'll do it with Steve. <laughs> yeah. I like both you guys. Steve, Steve would love to do that. Do you think that. Steve would um do you think I'll get along with Steve? Yeah. Okay, good. Steve's good. a really get yeah. along with a bull guy. Okay, good, good, good. As long as you're not bullshitting all the time, then no, just no, constantly... no, 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 I'm, you know, no, I'm yeah, not bullshitting not. about this. No, no for I real. Like I already told you what no, I went through. No, I mean, through. as a this person, is... if you're not a bullshitter, you're not. Yeah, no, no, you're no. You're not. But I, I would like to do like some kind of collab because I'm, I'm new to this YouTube shit. You know, yeah. you guys have been doing it, and yeah, we'll get. Can yeah, I ask you a you couple questions? Can I ask you? Go ahead, shoot. Like, wh- how do you, how do you like settle into this YouTube shit? Like, how do you? No, because I look at your channel and I'm like, no, fuck, she's got like so many videos. Like, so it's like videos. legit. Like, you do cooking things, yeah. you do vlog shit, but, like, and the just... camera looks great, and like the editing's on point. Like, Thank you. How do you, how do you, what, what pointers do you have for like, I'm actually, this is the only thing I, I'm talking yeah. about on the list. Um, what pointers do you have for a YouTuber starting out? Like, what, what the three things you would tell them? Okay, so I would start out with something that you're passionate about. Okay. And I would just do it. Like, you don't... I think people spend too much time thinking. thinking. Right? I'm an overthinker, too. Right. But, like, if you just have to do it. Because you're going to suck. Like, the mm-hmm. first video is going to suck. Mm-hmm. You're going to hate yourself. You're going to be like, I shouldn't have done this. But it's, you have to. Like, you have to do that one video, get out of the way. Or your first video is great, and you can never do it again. Like, you can never, like, replicate the greatness of it. And you'll mm-hmm. be like, Why? Cause you have to do it a lot before, like. You how many videos have you have you done? Oh my out, god! Like, how, are you in the hundreds now at this point? Oh, like six hundred. Like on my channel alone, that's not counting like all the collabs and. Sure, six hundred on her channel yeah. alone. I used to post five days a week on my channel. What? Yeah, it got nuts. Oh no! I don't you recommend gotta, that. By the way, don't you do did that. It five times a don't week. Don't do that. Did but you yeah, get burnt out? Oh yeah, that's what happened. Oh, so I had to stop. Well, you keep it. This is interesting because okay, people so, are out there want to do it. Yeah. So and we're so, trying to. So you I'm start to with something out. you're passionate about, okay. and you just do it because your passion is what's going to drive you. Don't try to do what's popular, what you see someone doing that's getting views, yeah, and yeah, like yeah, you yeah. want to get views. Don't do that. Just I start. I start. I I've started doing that. Yeah. Like like maybe I should do prank. Videos no, that comes later. Or maybe no, I should pranks do are over. Okay. No, no one wants to do pranks anymore. Yeah, but I would never do that. But, but like. So first, you start with something you're passionate about. Mm-hmm. Then you get a little bit of an audience, mm-hmm. and then you then you sell your soul and start doing what's just trending on YouTube. Really? Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah, that's how it works. How do you know what's trending? Do you like what is that? Because everyone, mean? you start realizing because the more you're on YouTube, you start watching other YouTube people, and people will just start doing all the same videos, and and you're like, <sighs> I hate these videos, but they're they're getting views, and I'm not. So I guess I gotta do these. Is that what videos. you did? So yeah, kind of. I mean, I I think you should keep your personality. But you have to do like what everyone. But yeah, like yeah, like you have to do what's 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 popular. What if you don't though? Then you're not gonna get. You're not. Gonna I mean, see. you might go get, but you <sighs> went. Oh, maybe not. You know. I and don't know. So, if I, I don't know. I gotta think so about. So here's this. how I balance it. Is hey, like is he, I think he's he's like the light the light bulb's going off in his head. He's thinking. Maybe. Does George know what's trending? I don't know. Does Do you know what's trending, George? I used to. What's trending right now? I don't even know. I don't even know where to look. Slime videos. Hey, Logan Paul. Oh, yeah, slime. Anything, uh, yeah. S- Logan, Paul Logan, Logan Paul slime. What's Put what, what, Logan what Paul are, slime in your title. You'll get a bunch of views. Well, what, what, are, what are slime videos? Slime. Uh, you don't even want to They just know. get slimed? Do you want to sell your soul right now? No. Because I, I can want, give yeah. you the ingredients. No, but I don't want the ingredients. Just, well, no. No, forget the slime. I'll give you poo slime. They'll get the poo slime. That's why it, it drives me nuts when people are like, 
you your channel you've been on youtube so long how come you're not growing because i don't want to do motherfucking slime videos i don't want to do yeah. like what eight-year-olds like so so youtube is the main demographic is that chew yeah you chew yeah I'm from Poway. <laughs> that's so weird i'm from Poway. are you a baseball player no i, I used to wrestle <laughs> i wrestle for Poway. wrestle yeah i'm a wrestler from wrestlers Poway. do that yeah I'm sorry. It's weird. That's why I'm not going to grow because I do this shit. But keep going. Okay. So um, my dad used to chew. Okay. Okay. But anyway. Um, so so yeah. Like the main demographic on YouTube is 8 to 13 year olds. So you do something that appeals to <sighs> 8 to 13 year olds that you're golden. Like you do funny voices and you do like quack wacky yeah, things. Yeah. I, I and- watch Ailani's niece and what they're watching. Yeah. And there's this. Do you know this Filipino guy? He does the mannequin video and he's just like. He's like in a room filled with mannequins and he's just like looking like it's just but the kids love it. They're like it's so funny. Yeah. But I'm like why do they like it? Yeah, that's who, what you have to be. But, yeah. but YouTubers, big YouTubers don't realize this. They think that their audience is adults. But it's not. It's, it's <laughs> and, kids? No, it's all kids. Yeah. Any big YouTuber that you know, like it, I'm talking like big gets lots of views. Their audience is kids. And then they're gone in 2 years because the kids to become adults and then they're like we don't want to watch this oh, garbage maybe anymore we, maybe I could do another character where I'm a clown you could like Bozo the Clown I don't know if kids want clowns though oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think they want people that act like clowns okay just we could edit this out you could be um, the, here's this though you could yeah. be Jim Carrey of the modern world and the kids would, would think you invented it because they don't know who the fuck Jim Carrey is because they don't know that, that that's that should be against the law they think they think kids you invented if you don't know it. who Jim Carrey is then oh I don't know what to say to that so you have to go and like study what kids like and then do that yeah. shit yeah I don't have I don't have the patience for that so what do you think? You did some of it, but you didn't do all of it. Right. Because that's, that's, that's I like the cooking shit's cool. Thank you. The cooking shit's cool because it's like everyone could will want to learn to make a yeah, different plate. They don't so know how that to. came out of nowhere. So the, like what happened for me is I had my comedy channel, which yeah. I was doing sketches on. That's cool. And then I had my vlog channel, which I was like vlogging real life, like just like very little editing and production just that's like cool too. vlogging yeah. with my phone you know that's and not trending though that's just something that's no, fun just, to do right it was right? fun for me yeah okay. it was it was almost like therapeutic cuz i didn't know how to just be myself on camera i'd always been an actor and yeah, like yeah, yeah, a, yeah. you know you don't look at the camera mm-hmm. so it was really hard for me to just be myself and talk to the camera so mm-hmm. steve suggested that i vlog for a month and i I was like, okay, I'll do it for 30 days and see see what happens. I think I'm going to hate it, but I'll try it. And I ended up loving it. What like, kind of camera do you got? It looks well, so crisp. Well, now I have, uh, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show it, please, please. Yeah. You have it with you? Yeah. Okay, I'd it's like to all, see it. Because really it looks crisp. crisp. I, uh, I dropped it a lot. Okay. But. Hey, that's similar to the one I got. It's the G7X. Or G, yeah, G7X. George, I got the same one, don't I? Pretty similar. Our vlogs don't look as good as theirs. <laughs> I swear to God, I have a similar type camera, and it doesn't it look as good as it like, look like that? no, it doesn't look like the the way your final product looks. It looks that's all you're using. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> look how sad he is. I was expecting you to right like now. break out this crazy fucking oh. big Canon with oh. the lens because. That's all it is? That's your vlog camera? That's my vlog camera. Yeah. Then I'm doing something wrong. (laughs) Because where's my... I have the same fucking one, dude. It's fucking right here. Isn't that the same one? Yeah, it's very similar. Mine looks... My vlogs look so much (laughs) shittier. I'm just being... My vlogs look so much shittier than what you're doing. Hmm. It looks like I did it on a 1984 camera. (laughs) I'm so embarrassed of myself. A 1984 camera, like a like a handheld. Yeah, like a handheld shit one. <laughs> okay, well we'll we'll talk to we'll talk more about it, George, later. As far as the aesthetic, Steve, you know, huh? It's all part of my master plan. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try can. to give you a different quality, maybe. Oh, is it on the wrong setting? Um, I don't know. We'll, let's see. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Way to show me up live on the show, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can do it though. So you're saved, George. And then the sound picks up on yours too. It comes in crisp on your channel, yeah. on your vlog stuff. You can't cover this. This is a microphone. I don't know if you oh, accidentally hold it. That's where I hold it. Yeah, you can't do that. 
hold on. I'm about to have a seriously. I'm about to have a fucking heart attack. That's where the mic is. <laughs> I'm serious, seriously, I'm it's about confusing. to slap myself in the. F- I'm about to slap myself. No, but everyone does that when they first get it. I swear to God, everyone does that. I used to do that. <sighs> Thank Steve God he came. Yeah. Thank God she came. Oh so Jesus. So anyway, so okay, let's go back. So you don't have to do everything that's trending. You could still stay no. stick to your roots. So yeah. So what happened for me was like I. So I had them separated. And I was just vlogging and I had a lot of fun with the vlogs and then people felt like they connected to me more with the vlogs because I was being myself and I wasn't acting in something. Yeah. And that's really what YouTube is about is like people getting to know you and like Because all the to thing you. I, the people I see, hey, how you doing out there? Tony Maroney with another video and it's like this huge, kids. like, yeah. It's for kids. I'm, I can't do that. And I can't do that either. What but the? if you do that, you will probably have a bigger following because really? you'll get kids but they won't get your jokes oh, you can't right. like say a dick joke after that like the, the you can't do both you but can't. what about kids are into farts and stuff right yeah yeah they can do farts you can do farts <laughs> I think you found your brand <laughs> dude just be I just wacky ha- and I talk just had about a rev- farts no 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 I'm gonna the real fart? fart yeah wow method sharts too <laughs> So, hey, listen, guys. We'll start with farts, then sharts. You're killing George. George? <laughs> have an open mind. Because kids love fart jokes. They do. So be big and fart. Can you show poo and stuff like that on YouTube? And they'll probably not show God it. God damn it. All right. Well, sorry. You can I don't. allude to it, but. You can't show the poo. I don't think you can. Because th- that would be something I haven't seen, like real poo stuff. Well, there's a reason. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. okay. I, th- I just, I'm trying to think that there's an untapped market. Um, so poo yeah, watchers. <laughs> you get the poo watcher demographic? <laughs> You're right. That's a very niche market. That's a great, that's a great title. Yeah. Though. Like Weight Watchers? <laughs> poo Watchers. Poo Watchers. Yeah, that, dude, that's some new shit. Pound on that. That's some new shit. I get a percentage of whatever you make. Watchers, whatever that poo dude, that's is. That's the shit right there. That's the bomb right there. <laughs> um, so, how old are these kids again? Like that, eight to thirteen. God dang, why so young? Like, why aren't there? Yeah, well, I think our demographics like twenty to thirty. Yeah, well, that's right, George. I would hope so. Otherwise, people don't understand the speaking they of don't poo. Understand? Do you smell that? No. You smell poo? George, can you go in the bathroom to see if Kirby pooed? You smell that from here? Yeah. Wow, you have a bionic... Sm- Turn the light on. Okay, thank God. So maybe it was just Good your boy. own self? Yeah, <laughs> it's just my breath. It's probably my breath. Okay. Um, so is there anything... How are we doing on time? This is a great one. This is a fun one. We doing good on time? Will you come back on to the Stevie no. Weeby show in the future? Steve will though, right? Oh yeah. Okay, Steve Green. Steve Green. <laughs> Shout out to Steve Green. Um, you had no, fun. No, I will come back. I love this. This is great. Do you think we left anything? I think we covered a lot of stuff. Okay, can you explain this guy? Oh yeah, his name's Cole the Troll. Cole I the found th- him on the street. Okay. <laughs> I found him. Uh, and there's probably an she, energy. Don't. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Why are you touching it? Did you sage it? No. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you can't complain about ghosts when you just bring ghost items in. He's my friend. Okay. He's my buddy. He has a rap album right yeah, yeah. Where's Cole his the pants? Draw. Uh, he doesn't have any, but I he's he came like this. Okay. He's my friend. So, um, is can like- we start plugging all the stuff? Like, if you have any shows coming up, your social media, your Facebook, your Instagram, your channel, everything. This is so overwhelming. I know. Um, yeah. So everything's Nikki Limo. YouTube.com slash Nikki Limo. How, how do you spell that? N i k k i l i m o. It's like limo, but it's mm-hmm. not. It's limo. I get a lot of limo services following me on Twitter, thinking I'm one of them. Oh. It's really fun. Um, so Twitter, Instagram. YouTube, Nikki Limo. On Facebook, I'm official Nikki Limo. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't have show, shows coming out, but I have a I'm movie that. that's playing at um, Slam Dance. You have a movie? Yeah. Let's, why don't you plug that? Yeah. Right? Plug well, that. my husband Steve wrote and executive produced it, and then what's um, it about? It's about a an ex, like a a faded out TV star who mm-hmm. was neglected his family most of his life. Mm-hmm. He gets in hot water with his uh, daughter, who is. Uh, 
uh, they're about to get married and it's a same sex marriage and mm-hmm. he the dad hooked up with her friend and like it's very okay high intense the dad hooked up with the fiance basically oh, but damn. didn't know thought it was one of her girlfriends damn and they got they get to the place and like it's her the daughter's fiance and and then you know it's a big like trying to cover it up because yeah. the they're like getting married and it's a wedding. High is drama. Yeah. yeah. So it's a dramedy. It's mm-hmm. it's funny. It's like an indie, you know, that indie feel. Um, mm-hmm. But I I I act in it. Um, so I'm, you're starring in it. I'm like supporting it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. He better put you in it. Yeah. Steve. Exactly. Mm-hmm. What's the point of marrying you? You don't put me in shit. Ooh, that was you know a low saying? blow there. All right, we'll edit that out just too. Just kidding. I'm oh, just kidding. He knows what's <laughs> he up. He knows. Um, so, and then what about your social? Uh, you said your uh, Instagram already? Yeah. Nikki Limo is, is everything. And on then there. Uh, do you have your own Patreon? You, you don't have Patreon? I don't yet, but okay. I was thinking of starting one. Yeah. Um, just because I want to do more sketches, and my main excuse is that it's just a budget that I don't have. Oh, you could do GoFundMe too, huh? You could do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You play I video games too? You're a gamer? I like Nintendo. Because I'm going to tell you, me and Bryce have been talking about this. If you start getting into gaming. Yeah. Girl you, gamers. Dude, you would kill shit. That's you would so kill true. the game. And all you would have to do is just put on a headset ah, and then just play. And just be bad at it. You don't even it. have to be good at it. <laughs> right, Bryce? I wouldn't be. Dude, you're number. Single <laughs> shooter games. I can do 007 Goldeneye and that's dude, it. Dude, most of the games are like that. Will you, even, will you consider it? I would consider it. You got a you got a um, gaming unit at home. I do. What do you got? I got an Xbox and I got a PlayStation Four. Why aren't you doing this? Because I don't. Dude, know there's it's. I'm telling you, Bryce. We had a, this true. conversation. Yeah. It's the future. Twitch is. <laughs> I'm telling you. Do you dude, know about the fake girl gamers that like dude, they get exposed all the time because they don't play their own games? Yeah, but they're making. They're doing. No, the I thing. know. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. But it's, I just think it's interesting Dude. that that's a whole thing that they, that a girl gamer is such a thing that like girls will fake playing games and just to be the front to be on camera and do their yeah. thing. Hey, yeah, man. to get horny guys that are teenage boys that are playing the game. And Ten bucks. Fantasize Ten bucks. About this Twenty girl bucks. Twenty. Being good wow, at this must game. Be nice. It's really her boyfriend <laughs> being good yeah. at the game. Just at least girls play the game. You don't have to be. Just at funny. least play the game. Jesus. All these guys getting trolled and they get mad. Yeah. And there's a mob that's like, either her channel should be taken down. <laughs> Look what we have here. And then you're going to do us the service of, I'm going to guess what's in these things. And then this is a game I like okay. to play. And then you could open it. Okay. So here's, here, hold this one. Oh, thank here. you. Here. And then here's a pair of scissors here. And then you could cut the top. Okay. Uh, I think. These comes peaks, so I want to make okay, sure. so. These come um, with tabs. You don't need scissors. I think that. You always make the Filipinos handle the mail? I, <laughs> I think that the um, there's posters in there. You're wrong. There's a postcard. No, there's not a postcard. Okay. No peeking. Yeah, there's posters. Posters in there. It's not posters. Okay. Are you still seeing posters? Yeah, I, I, it's not. Uh, postcards or stickers? Stickers? Nope. So, um, she said there's a there, oh there's <laughs> probably like magazine like a magazine or nope comic books maybe no okay I give up it's a t-shirt what yeah oh it says wow exploring realms wow we were just talking about that tonight is it your size uh, and then it, what I thought was a postcard is is actually a regular card can you read it can you read it for the viewers yeah hey this Steve. Is- Loving the podcast. Keep it up. Here's an art tee I made to protect you from the interdimensional alien demons. Do you like Rick and Morty, by the way? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Yeah, uh, that's on Adult Swim, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That damn good, damn good show. Put this on before you travel deep into the underworld. Art show at Zanzibar Coffee, February 25th through April 1st. Instagram at Jacques slash Lizotte. So shout out to his name is Jacques. Put that on the screen. Yeah. So shout out to Jacques Lazat. Lazat sounds French. So thank you, buddy. I will definitely wear the shirt. I will definitely wear it. That's a cool. That's a really soft shirt. Yeah, quality it is. Shirt. And I like I like the the design. Yeah. And this is from our Nathaniel coming through again. 
Nathaniel. Yeah, that's the homie right there. He's always, he's always, uh, he's like, he uh, controls our Facebook fan page. And, oh, that's uh, cool. Yeah. I know there's stickers in here, I think. Yeah. Are you, are you saying you, you want I'm not, I you just, I stickers? feel like, I think it's Kirby stick. I think I it's like Kirby. I, no, I think it's Kirby stickers. Anything else? Do you think there might be anything else? No, these are Kirby stickers, I believe. What's what's Kirby stickers? I designed a sticker like a Kirby. What does it say? It says Stevie Weeby Show. Nah. Kirby at the bottom. Okay, there are stickers. I will give you that. The Kirby stickers. Oh, there are there are yeah, there are Kirby stickers. Yeah, boy, <laughs> there you are, but boy. There's, there's also these stickers. Oh, cool! Oh, that's like Get oh, that's child, cool. Yeah, that's uh, skateboarding stuff. Yeah, that's a. Uh, you skate? Yeah, I do that's for cool. fun. Ghetto Child stickers and the Kirby stickers are here. Thank you, Nathaniel. Oh, how do people get the Kirby stickers, Steve? Um, well, they can get Facebook fan page. Yeah, he controls it. Shout out to Nathaniel again coming through. So the only way to get those stickers is to go to the Facebook fan page, Stevie. Yeah, Weeby show? the Stevie Weeby Show, the Facebook, Facebook fan, fan page. page. And with that Facebook being said, thank page. you, Nathaniel. As always, love you, brother. Thanks, Nathaniel. And um, I gotta do a couple plugs myself. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. It's fine. So I have a band camp, Stevie Weeby, bandcamp.com. Download those songs. Get some of those songs. Purchase some of those songs. Stevie Weeby, Patreon. Okay, make that pledge. Our band, the band I'm in, Mongchi, can you get it right here? Can you get the, can you get the band in here? We're doing a festival. We're doing Grizzly Fest. Snoop Dogg's going to be there. Nas is going to be there. Whoa. Fantagram's gonna be there. Action Bronson's gonna be there. And Monchi's gonna be there too, motherfucker. <laughs> so get your tickets at www.grizzlyfestival.com. Okay? Band? Yeah, it's a band. May 18th and 19th. All the Monchies out there, please support. I heard so you're a band- rapper. Too. Yeah, I, I rap and I yell stuff too. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we could talk about that after the okay, show but too. The band. Yeah. So th- support the Monchi. Monchi is going to be doing a festival. Okay, can't wait, dude. I'm a huge fan of Nas and Snoop. And yeah, me too. Fantag- I love awesome. Fantagram, and so I I just want to meet them. Or I, I don't have to meet them. I'll just like if I could just see them backstage. Yeah, I would trip out. Oh, I, maybe I could vlog. You could. I could vlog. There you go. Then, like, now you know, you're like, thinking. Now I could like get like some BTS. Yeah. With that, thanks for coming. Do you yeah. have fun? Was this fun? Yeah, it was fun. You'll come on again with. I will. Steve will come too. Sure. Steve Green. If we have to. Yeah. Steve Green, we want you next, brother. With that being said, it's time for Little Ray's World, man. We only, 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 only. Welcome to Little Ray's World Show. All I gotta say is kids' minds must grow. I got abducted by some aliens and dropped in snow. Whoa. Stuck into a world that I do not know. So join me in adventures now. And I promise not to have a cow. My name is Little Ray. Hey, hey. My name is Little Ray. Hey, 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 so welcome to my world, to all the boys and girls. Welcome to Little Ray's world. Yeah. God damn, Beep, we're still stuck in this god dang hell dimension, man. What is this? Who are you, man? Your name is Tom the Bomb, is that correct? Well, why the hell do you look so mad, man? You look like you're about to red zone or something, man. Your wife wanted your money, and she ended up killing you, correct? Well, me and Beep wrote a song about it, and it goes like this, man. This one's about Tom the Bomb, man. Listen up. Tom the Bomb, he smoked the corn, greener than the grass on lawn. Held the bomb just like a thong, did the blonde inside his palm. Flown like Vietnam and Sassadon until the yard of dawn. Dreamt he was a mongrel just like Angus Khan without a dog. Why the condom out of bonds was a bond of him but calm.
bombs on intercom, man, what you tripping on? Join us next week for another episode of Little Ray's World. See you then, man.